Good morning, afternoon. I don't know when you're watching this, Kennedy Dragons. People that are joining the I Get My Kicks Reading Book 66 uh, Summer Reading Challenge. We are glad that you're joining us today for another day. Um, each day we're going to be bringing you a book, uh, read aloud. It's going to be a Caldecott winner or a Georgia picture book winner. So today we're bringing you a, a book called Creepy Carrots. It is a 2013 Caldecott uh, honor book that um, we're going to be reading to you. Uh, it is written by Aaron Reynolds and the pictures are by Peter Brown. Um, each day since we're traveling through winder and surrounding areas I'm going to be bringing you a different location. Well of course creepy carrots of course I'm in the garden at Kennedy Elementary School. Uh, I found inside this garden a carrot believe it or not and guess what that made me think of creepy carrots. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be reading this book to you. So as I read, like I try to do each and every day, I'm going to try to re read uh, modeling what good readers do. Reading uh, the words fluently, which means I'm reading the words correctly uh, at a good pace. Not too fast, not too slow, and with expression. So I'm going to try to do that. And as I read, uh, I want you guys to practice what good listeners do or what good readers do when they're listening to the stories being read to them or when they're reading it to themselves. Listen for the, uh, all those story elements, the characters, who or what the story is about, the setting, where and when the story takes place. And then, of course, um, we want to make sure that we are uh, listening for the sequence of events, what happens first and next and after that. And, Finally, so be thinking about that. Also, too, be thinking about good readers. Uh, they know what the questions are going to be asked at the end of each book that we do. We are going to be asking you to take a five-question quiz. Um, and before we start, we will show you what those questions are. So as you are listening, you guys can think about what are the questions that we're going to be asking. So hopefully you enjoy Creepy Carrots, written by Aaron Reynolds, pictured by Peter Brown a 2013 Caldecott Honor book. Creepy Carrots by Aaron Reynolds, illustrated by Peter Brown. Jasper Rabbit had a passion for carrots, and the carrots that grew in Krakenhopper Field were the best, fat, crisp, and free for the taking. He pulled some for a morning snack on the way to school. He yanked out a few on his way to Little League practice. He ripped them from the ground on his way home at night. Jasper couldn't get enough carrots until they started following him. He first noticed something strange after he, his big game against the East Valley Hares. Jasper was about to help himself to a victory snack when he heard it. The soft, sinister tun -tun 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 of carrots creeping. He turned, but there was nothing there. Just my imagination, he thought, but he hopped a little faster. That night, as he was brushing his teeth, there they were. Jasper whipped around, but nothing. He laughed at himself, picked up his toothbrush off his floor, and went to bed quickly. The next morning, he approached Krakenhopper Field slowly. He reached for two wild carrots. Nothing happened. He bit into one. Nothing happened. Whew. 
creepy carrots. It was ridiculous. But when he arrived home that evening, Mom! Mom! Jasper screamed. Creepy carrots in the shed! His mom opened the door slowly. There weren't any carrots, not even the regular kind. There are no such thing as creepy carrots, Mom said, shaking her head. Later that night, as Jasper lay in bed, he heard it, breathing, terrible, carroty breathing. And there, on his wall, creepy carrots! He shouted, Dad! Dad! His dad thumped into his bedroom and threw on the light. They searched under the bed. No creepy carrots. They looked through the closet. No creepy carrots. They opened the dresser drawers. Nope. Creepy carrots. Just a bad dream, son, his dad said, shaking his head. Now go to sleep. That wasn't going to happen. By the end of the week, Jasper was seeing creepy carrots creeping everywhere. Jasper knew his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real, and they were coming for him. But they couldn't get him if they couldn't get out. Jasper hatched a plan. First thing on Saturday, he grabbed supplies and headed to Krakenhopper Field. As the sun finally set across Krakenhopper Field, Jasper Rabbit smiled. On his way home, there was no tunk, 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 tunk. There were no carrot-shaped shadows. His plan had worked. No creepy carrots would ever get out of that carrot patch again. And as the sun finally set, the carrots of Krakenhopper Field cheered. Their creepy plan had worked. They were sure of it. Jasper Rabbit would never get into that carrot patch ever again. Creepy Carrots by Aaron Reynolds. Pictures by Peter Brown.